Hello and welcome. I am Vishwanath M. In this video, let us try to learn and understand the ninth program of Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning Laboratory of VTU. The program is titled Locally Weighted Regression. Now this is a topic in the theory as well. Uh, let us just get a basic understanding of what locally weighted regression means. The three terms involved here are locally weighted and regression. Locally means near to a value that is local to a specific point. Weighted means we are assessing the contribution of that particular point. So weighted in a way we are just assessing the importance or significance. So that is what locally weighted means. Regression is a term which is very familiar to us. We are estimating values in a real value domain that is real value function. So that is what this locally weighted regression literally means. Uh, th it is so commonly referred to as memory based procedure. The reason for that is at every point in time when we are uh, making a prediction we need the entire training data. So it is in a way memory based and well, since we see the term weighted so there has to be some way of defining the weight. So that function is called weighting function. It is one of the important decisions we need to make when we are carrying out locally weighted regression. Now all this uh, information becomes more meaningful when we are learning the program. Now there is one more important parameter which we need to remember and understand uh, and also appreciate its importance. So there is a parameter called tau which we are uh, which we can see in the program as well. We are uh, passing a, we are having a parameter called tau. The name of the parameter is smoothening parameter. So it is called tau. So wherever we see that word smoothening, it refers to a curve or it refers to a graph. So we can, we can just blindly understand this curve is very smooth whereas uh, the red line is very smooth whereas the red curve here is much sharper than this. In other words, the smoothness has reduced and it keeps on reducing in as we go further. So we can up, we can see the sharpness of the curve at this particular point. It is even now it is slightly blunt, but as we go the, uh, uh, further, the point gets sharper and sharper. In other words, the smoothness of the curve is getting reduced. We have not understood the program as of now, but we can just appreciate that when the uh, value of tau, so basically draw is taking a parameter called tau. So when it is having the value 10 which is very high the curve is very smooth and as it gets uh, lesser and lesser the curve gets sharper and sharper or in other words the smoothening gets reduced the, uh, the curve gets less smoother so that was the basic introduction now get, let us get into the program we are importing two packages numpy and uh, matplotlib.pyplot this is required and understandable because we are plotting a curve and uh, plt basically does that so we are importing the two modules. Before before coming to these two functions, let us get to the main part of the code. This is where the execution starts from. So we have two things here, x and y. What does what is x means? In any graph, so this will be basically be the x-axis and the vertical column will be the y-axis. In many uh, in many conventions, the x-axis is also called the domain. Or uh, yeah, so that is what is called x or domain. So in x, what what are we having in x? Uh, we can understand that x is a, a, a fun, it, x is a list of, uh, or an array which is returned from this function np dot lin space. What is lin space? Lin space is like a linear. Uh, we can ex understand like linear space between the two numbers minus three and three. I have written the same here. Lin space is a function which is available in numpy package. It will take the parameters start, stop, and num. So between minus 3 to 3, it will give 1000 evenly spaced numbers. So between minus 3 to 3, we will have 1000 numbers which are evenly spaced. So that will be stored in the variable called x and we are just uh, calling it by a different name here, by, by the name domain. And what is y? The values of y we need in such a way that we, we should get a good curve. We should get a good uh, shape of the curve. So in order to get this w shaped curve, this is the function or this is the code this uh, there is no particular reason how this code has come so we can just understand or appreciate since uh, the log functions also look somewhat similar uh, and log and exponential functions look something like this we can understand that in order to get a shape like this we are creating the y values so that is that is what the comment says here the uh, y is chosen like this np dot log 
we are passing the values of x and we are squaring them x square minus 1 and that uh, is passed to a function called abs abs is nothing but absolute function if it is negative it will just make sure it is converted to positive and we are adding 0.5 and the value we have obtained inside we are taking the log function so the log values kind of keep on decreasing till this point and again increase again, again decrease and again increase so in a way to get this w shaped curve this part of the uh, code is written y is equals to np dot log of the brackets need to be understood very properly log is for the entire thing inside and abs is for the x square minus 1 so this is the content of abs function log is for the entire thing so we have got the x and y values after this we can uh, the execution is done up to here that is the third line in the code then draw of 10 so let us not worry about this value in the uh, function that is 10 point one. let us not worry about this but we can understand that draw function is called draw function is executed so the draw function is written here draw is taking a parameter called tau as i said tau is a smoothening tau is a smoothening parameter tau is called the smoothing parameter what this tau is doing we will see now uh, in this draw function we are in turn calling a function called linear uh, local regression local regression is a function we are calling in draw function so what does this return it will return a prediction so as i said uh, this locally weighted regression it is like a memory based prediction so we can understand what is x here x is like the uh, entire domain and y is the entire uh, set of values for the y value y uh, variable so we are having the access to the entire thing x and y so it, we can understand that it, it is a memory based prediction we are calling the function local regression on x not comma x comma y and tau we, we will uh, come to this tau a little later what is x not for x not in domain in other words for every value in the x axis we are calling the local regression function now uh, writing this local, uh, local regression function uh, is very simple if we remember what is displayed here so we have something called as a weight function Th we just need to uh, memorize this e power minus x minus x naught whole square divided by 2 tau square this is the uh, formula which is available if we explore more about this locally weighted regression for the lab purpose we can just remember this program uh, we, we can just remember this formula these uh, formulas are much easier to remember okay now we will just uh, go line by line local regression is having four parameters x naught x y and tau now what is x naught x naught is whatever is sent in from this uh, x axis or uh, from this x axis we are just sending each value uh, and we are calling the local local regression function so and what we are doing inside we are taking x naught comma 1 as a list so x naught is x naught is a list x is also a list x is also a list wherein we are just having one comma the value for it for every value in x we are having a list one comma that particular value and the entire thing is processed as a list why it is required as a list because uh, it, it becomes easier at, uh, because some functions are available for this list that is why we are uh, processing the entire thing as list okay now x is uh, updated or the va variable x now becomes np dot as array of x so in other words we are just using this numpy packet np as array is a function which we are calling so this uh, list will get converted to an array that is what these three lines of code is doing now what this xw means xw is this uh, uh, line shown in this image here before coming to xw let us just understand this uh, formula w is equals to e power the entire thing so what we are doing here is xw is x dot t that is the transpose of x which we are doing it here x dot t and whatever is written here this is just that it is just translated into python so this is the mathematical form this is translated here np dot exponential so that is e power and here we have sum of x minus x naught so x minus x naught whole square and it is divided by 2 tau square 2 star tau uh, double star 2 wherever we see double star it means uh, square that is power raised to 2 so 
by remembering this uh, formula, writing this becomes easy. So we have, we have calculated W and then we have multiplied with x dot t. That is what is happening here. x dot t star uh, n p dot exponent of this. So this uh, we have cal calculated x w now. Now there is something called as beta. All this is relevant and it becomes more understandable when we have understood this locally weighted regression theory really well. Otherwise, uh, because these uh, only these are the four lines of code we need to remember, it is quite easy. So after finding x w, there is a pattern here x w star x star x w star y and we can observe that x w star x there is an inverse. So how, how are we going to uh, implement this mathematical form in python? So beta is equals to n p dot l i n a l g that this means linear algebra dot t in i n v. So it is nothing but pseudo inverse. So in, in, uh, let us not break our heads by uh, going too much into it. Basically what this n p dot linal dot pin, pin v what this uh, uh, code does is it will just calculate the inverse of whatever is there inside so in other words uh, because we see an inverse thing of uh, raised to minus 1 so we just do uh, x w star x and when uh, when you see at at here means in python at means matrix multiplication so x is a matrix x dot t is also a matrix so x w is also a matrix so x w and x matrix multiplication is performed so at is nothing but matrix multiplication nothing else so x w star x inverse is calculated here and again we see a star so star is replaced by at and x w star y x w at y so we have calculated the beta value and finally the return uh, return value should be beta multiplied with x naught now the derivation for this becomes a long procedure and it becomes understandable only if you know the theory well. So because this program is quite short, just remembering these four lines of formula, we can write this local regression function. So every time for every value in the domain, so that is in every value in the domain, we are calling this local regression function. All this happens and ultimately uh, uh, this output that is the uh, beta star x naught. So what is x naught? x naught is the point of interest. Suppose we are at this point, now this is the point of interest. So in a way, we are calculating the prediction. So prediction is calculated here and prediction is also processed as a list. Why? Because for, for every value in the domain, we need to have the prediction values. So then we are just plotting x comma y in black color. That is, in, a, in other words, x is the domain, y is the values for this W shaped curve. First we simply plot the black color curve that is how they are doing here x comma y and uh, o is a, a symbol uh, there is a if we replace with star all this becomes star so anyway uh, this is the simplest form of plotting and color is black so every time this w shaped curve is plotted first this is what happens first after that we plot the domain that is the domain is already plotted uh, in other words domain is what, whatever is uh, in the x axis we plot the predictions that is what we have calculated here predictions are plotted in red color so what we can understand is this tau parameter defines how much the importance we are assigning for each of the value in the domain so had we considered every point very seriously or had we given more importance the curve would have more or less fit into this original curve so this is the original values these are the values we have predicted since we have taken a smoothing parameter which is very high in the first uh, iteration in, in this uh, first time we are calling draw of 10 so the tau value will be 10 so the local regression it will estimate the values but those values are very smooth it, 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 it does not actually fit to the original curve so anyway we are just plotting the prediction and uh, for every time we are uh, calling this uh, draw function uh, initially it will be a smooth curve and as we as the values gets smoother and I mean uh, value gets lesser and lesser smoothness also reduces and it, it better fits into this uh, original black color curve black color curve is the original values so plt dot show is just the syntax uh, whatever we have plotted show function will just create this output will just create this graph so this was all about this program uh, this program can be understood if we have uh, 
if we know this theory very well and if we remember how to write this local regression function. That was all in this video. Thank you.